you know, you think of a lab, this is not what comes to mind when you think of a lab. Flattened out, terrified like that. It's okay. It's okay. We gotta do it, Esther. Come on, baby. You want the front? Yeah. But you get attached to them, especially when they've been so traumatized. It's a little bit hard for me to talk about it, but um, we love them. So we have a lot of hopes for her. <clears throat> the prison program right now is the best hope she probably has. So she's going today. From the time I started the program in October of 2002, we've had over 6,000 dogs go through the program. And 2,367 of those dogs are rescues. They come to us before they're taken to the humane shelter. When I get a dog for the program, I go to the Humane Society or sometimes they're given to us because they're somebody's unwanted dog, <laughs> you know? And when you take a dog to a humane shelter, no matter how hard that shelter tries, there is a percentage of dogs that they can't place that are euthanized. Um, so I go into the shelter and I look at these dogs. The staff will say, you know, you might want to look at dog number 620. There's Esther. God love this one. And what they're saying to me is, you know, if you can take that dog at all, please do, because they don't have very much time left. Girl, you're all right. See, she'll just pee. See the pee coming out? She's so scared. These guys are so severe that we really have to believe that no, probably no. something a little more... Um, traumatic happened to them than just not being socialized. I've never seen more ter terrified dogs. So Debbie, you know, offered to try to give her a different environment. It's all right. It's all right, baby. It's okay, Esther. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, Esther. It's all right, baby. What should you do that? Do we need to do Well, if anybody wonders why we do what we do, there's a good example. <laughs> Thanks. You're so welcome. Much. Thanks, Debbie. So much. Let's hope we can help her. Yeah. I'm excited. I think I am we're going to make a difference. So yeah. Excited. Well, you always do. For all of them. Very it's everybody together, you know, that gives a damn that makes a difference. So. Somebody said about that dog, I don't want this dog. They took the chance of having them euthanized and they drop them off at the shelter and we turn them around. My offenders who basically cast away people and they take these castaway dogs and they make them into family pets or even better yet, sometimes yes. these dogs That's turn into dog. service dogs that help people to achieve more independent lives or Maybe they go into scent detection and do law enforcement work. You know, it's really kind of a funny turnaround from being somebody's throwaway dog. Stop and down your dogs. Down. Put you down. Stay. Stay. Then I'm going to ask her to come to me. And if she doesn't come, I'm going to tug on the leash a little bit and let her know that I'm there and she needs to come to me. As far as Esther's training goes, I've, I've just been really patient with her and calm.
Esther is awesome. <laughs> Esther is a dog that has definitely stolen my heart. And I'm very sad to see her leaving today. I love her very much. She's been a great learning experience for me. And I hope that I've been able to help her have a happy life. Because she's a cool, cool dog. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. I think the more work you have to put into them, the more special they become to you. And she was a lot more than, uh, than I've had to put into a dog for a long time. But it was hard to let her go, and she didn't want to go. I'm gonna miss her. I try to get pictures with most of the dogs that I've had. And so I'll always remember them. 